Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it and there are many many Scorpios that I love very, very dearly. With that said, if you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you want some of those new yummy perks that I am offering at the moment through the membership program, hit the join button and take a look to see what takes your fancy. I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is your destiny card for the week ahead? What is your overarching, overriding theme of energy this week? This week you get the moon. Interestingly enough, Leo got this as well. So what's the thing that you both have in common? That you are fixed signs, right? So it looks like there's something happening in the sign of fix it in the uh, mode of fixity, so to speak. Now, the destiny card as a moon card basically suggests that you personally, the feeling that I get from this is you personally are going through the process of truly evolving and taking steps up. As we do that, uh, the universe, vibration, law of attraction, whatever you want to call it, tends to bring things from our previous vibration into our current experience to ask you, to test you and to challenge you to see whether you have really made the steps that you say you have. Are you going to drift off into a previous pattern of self-sabotage, self-destruction, uh, you know, addiction, whatever you want to call it, um, or have you truly transcended that previous energy that you had and are you ready to step off of the cyclic pattern uh, that seems to have run through your life up until now? The moon card represents the moon, right? It's cyclic in its nature. And the feeling that I get is that this week you really have taken a step up. So if you find that uh, people are coming back into your life or coming out of the woodwork, really check their intention and more importantly, check your intention as to why you might want to continue to mingle with them, right? Sometimes we are sent a test. I truly believe that. Sometimes it's like the universe says, right, I see you've leveled up. Let's see if you're ready to stay in that space. Let's, re let's see if you're really ready to move forward like you say you are, right? And you've had a jumping card and it's a very interesting card given what we've just talked about. And actually it's two cards, right? So the first one that I could see was the chariot, right? So this suggests that yes, you are absolutely ready to move on, to evolve, to elevate and to ultimately head towards what all Scorpios are naturally inclined towards, which is enlightenment, the ability to transform all of that dark, really sometimes heavy-ish uh, so I'm trying to uh, evolve my own potty mouth uh, recently. I'm trying to catch myself when I'm using profanity. So um, <laughs> that's my part. You know, that's a part of my test at the moment. So yeah, with the the chariot card, it really does suggest you have made big strides, um, and you want to continue down that path. That's really really important for you. Um, you know, it's, it's where you're heading ultimately. And then with the Eight of Pentacles, this suggests that something about your work, something about your professional life is really about to take off, especially with the Chariot card there. Uh, one thing that I will say to you with this pairing though, uh, be prepared to be busier than expected. Be prepared to be more in demand than you expected. Now, one of the things that I want to say to you is, and I'm not talking to all of you here because, you know, this, it's a general message. So you'll know if this part of it is for you. If you usually kind of make so much headway and then think, oh, you know what, I'll take a nice long break now. You're not going to be able to do that this week, right? This from here on in, actually, for the rest of the year, this is where it starts to ramp up. This is where the pressure is on. This is where it's up to you to perform, right? You, you said you wanted something. You worked on manifesting it. You worked on creating it. You did this whole evolution thing. The universe is now sending you not only what you asked for, but also it's matching your vibration. So in your old cycle, would you have shied away, you know, when, oh, wow, this is a bit too much, you know, I, I tried to manifest a little bit and uh, suddenly I've got more than I bargained for. 
Well, unfortunately, this week the universe is kind of saying you've got to suck it up. When it comes to work, when it comes to all of that stuff, things are about to take a massive upswing for you. Um, but it's going to rely on you not going back, not treading you know, back over the old ground or through the past. Your insight card or peek behind the scenes is the Ace of Swords, a new beginning when it comes to work, when it comes to communications, when it comes to your message and how people view you, when it comes to what you communicate to the world. All of this stuff is coming into sharp focus and this really tells me because it's your insight card, this really is about your work. It's about your work, your professional life. You're gonna see a big, big upswing of energy in this area of life this week. And uh, it really is down to you to, um, you, you know, you gotta show up now, is basically what I'm saying to you uh, in the best way. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.